WLJC welcomes you to have church with us for the next 90 minutes during the hour of harvest. Call in your prayer request or praise report now. The WLJC prayer team is standing by to talk and pray with you. We have some very special musical guests here this evening to share in song the good news of the gospel. So sit back, relax, sing along, and join in with us as we pray for you and the needs of all our viewing audience. Hour of Harvest is touching countless souls from the Appalachian Mountains to the Bluegrass region, across the nation, and around the world. Live from our studios in Beattyville, Kentucky, here is your host of the Hour of Harvest, Margaret Drake. Good evening and welcome to WLJC and our live service tonight from our studios in Beattyville, Kentucky. It's a good wet rainy night and we trust that the storm did, did you no harm and that you'll be able to watch us tonight and stay with us because we, we have come to have church and we trust that you have too. And uh, so we want to read some scriptures as you get comfortable and able to stay with us now for the next one hour and a half because we're going to uh, be doing our best to uh, bring bring the Lord to you in a way that it will make you hungry to know more about him. The scripture tonight we want to read is about the benefits of the Lord. Psalms 103, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all of his benefits, who forgiveth all, all of thine iniquities, and who healeth all thy diseases, who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfieth thy mouth with good sing, things, so that the youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord executeth righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. He made known his ways unto Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and plenteous in mercy. He will not always chide, neither will he keep his anger forever. He hath not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. For as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our transgressions from us. Like as a father pitieth his children, so the Lord pitieth them that fear him. For he knoweth our frame, he remembereth that we are dust. As for man, his days are his grace. As a flower of the field, so he flourisheth. For the wind passeth over it, and is gone, and the place thereof shall know it no more. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting upon them that fear him and his righteousness unto children's children, to such as keep his covenant and to those that remember his commandments to do them. The Lord hath prepared his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom ruleth over all. Bless the Lord, ye his angels that excel in strength, that do his commandments, hearkening unto the voice of his word. Bless ye the Lord, all ye his hosts, ye ministers of his that do his pleasure. The last verse. Bless the Lord, all his works and all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Those are the, some of the benefits of serving God. And he, healed, he forgives all of our iniquities and he heals all of our diseases and he redeems our life. And there are so many uh, benefits to serving God. And one thing is that we can always go to him and talk to him. We don't have to ask permission from someone. We don't have to go through someone. But we can pray to the Father in Jesus' name, and he hears us. And so tonight, that's what we want to do. Uh, you know, from time to time, I have mentioned that, uh, that we always uh, take prayer requests every night, every day. Uh, when I come back in on Monday, I, well, I have a whole stack of prayer requests that has come in on over the weekend, over the replays. And, you know, from time to time, I'd say, we pray for you, and then there comes times that we ask you to pray for us. And you know how many people that Dottie Combs has prayed for and been over the telephones for a number of years now, that's her ministry. Well, now, Dottie is in need of her prayers tonight. Uh, Dottie is 
uh, in the hospital with pneumonia. Now let me repeat this so you'll know what I've said. Dottie uh, started out having some hoarseness in her throat and she thought it was allergies because she'd been working outside. But, and she went for a checkup today, everything else was fine, but she has pneumonia. So they wanted her to stay in the hospital a few days to take medicine and for it. And so she is uh, in the Jackson Hospital and she said she would appreciate prayers. And you know Dottie, she, she prays for you. The minute you call and say that you need prayer, she prays right then. She don't say, oh yeah, I'll pray for you. Forget about it. She prays. So tonight, it's your turn to pray for Dottie. And so that's what we're asking you to do, is to help us pray for, for Dottie. She is not happy at all being, being cooped up there tonight. She wanted to be here to uh, be on the phones. But I told her, I said, Dottie, do what they are telling you to do get, so you can get well. All right, we want to uh, pray for her. And then we have uh, someone here for Mike Chambers that just had a heart attack and they live in New York. Mary has called that in. And for the uh, Floyd Sears uh, family, they're having his funeral tomorrow. And uh, so that's, uh, and then we want to remember all of the friends of WLJC like uh, Jesse Hubbard that's already thinking about our revival and telethon, which is coming up really, really soon. We're making plans for it uh, right now. So uh, we are asking you that's been, been receiving prayers, then let's, let's see you work and pray for the needs that we're sharing with you. All right, let's pray before we start the service. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you because we do have benefits in serving you. And the biggest one is in knowing you as our personal Savior and being able to talk to you every single minute that we want to. You never get tired. You're, we never uh, use up all of our minutes, but you're always there. And you're waiting to hear from us. And you remember what we're made of. You remember how frail that we can be and how that we, you need to shore us up from time to time. And you forgive all of our sins. You heal all of our diseases. And so tonight, Father, in Jesus' name, we ask for healing for Dottie. We ask for the angels to be so strong in that room tonight that they will bring healing right in there and touch her lungs, heal her completely so that uh, of this pneumonia to, so she can uh, be well again. And so, Father, we thank you for your goodness. We thank you for what you're going to do in the service tonight. We thank you for the people that have joined us. And Father, may this be a night that uh, we have been able to successfully lift up your name. And it's in that name we pray. Amen. All right. Tonight we're happy to have with us the Glory Land uh, Baptist Church from over at Richmond. The phone number is 859-624-3023 if you would uh, like to contact them. And uh, we have a we have a number of uh, folk uh, helping tonight. Looks like Daryl's back for for a change. That's always good. And Alma and uh, uh, we've been missing them. They they been busy this summer and and so we're uh, we're let's switch over to the to the group, the Gloryland Baptist Church. You know, there's so many people out there tonight uh, that's counting on him. But you know, the ones that's not, you know, we've all got a desire. There's an earthly desire and there's a heavenly desire. But you know, uh, listen to me. Uh, without, without a vision, the Bible said in Proverbs, that we'll perish. Uh, uh, but one thing about it, we're going to lift up all the cancer people tonight. There's so many uh, that call in when we're answering the phones that's got a healing. Amen. Amen. Uh, and, but you know what? Uh, without signs and wonders, we won't believe. And I want to believe tonight. I want to lift you up and know that God is alive. I believe Amen. He's alive. Amen. Well, God's not dead. He's still alive. Oh, my God. Oh, my God.
before the Lord. You know, there's so many like Irene that's out there. Oh, cancer thinks it's got the devil's running through and fro, folks. He thinks he's got us on the run. But I got news for him. Oh, glory to God. God's not dead. Amen. You know, we, people, we sing that song, but do we believe how alive he is? You know, I believe, honey, started out with 12 disciples, 11. But you know what? You know what happened? He ended up with 120. Now, listen to me out there in that upper room. Oh, glory to God. You know what they was doing? They're, they're doing what we need to do today. Uh, there's a praying for that comforter to come. Because he told them, he said, you go into that upper room. Uh, uh, glory to God. They're just obedient to God. If you're out there tonight, uh, uh, glory to God, uh, be obedient to him tonight. Uh, because he's looking for you. Uh, uh, glory to God to call upon his mighty name. Uh, Lord, Sister Dottie, you know we're praying for you. Uh, uh, because you're very important to the Lord. Uh, everybody out there is important to the Lord. Uh, you know, I know, glory to God, Miss Abrams, you're out there, hallelujah, Lorraine, you're out there, cancer can't get you down, come on, hallelujah, there's so many people praying, everybody out there tonight, if the doctor said you had cancer, you got a few days, I believe you, honey, you'd be calling in, glory to God, so let's call in tonight, let's ask God, you got children out of the will of the Lord, call in, because I believe he's still alive, amen. amen. You know, there's going to be people tonight. I know it's cloudy, stormy. Oh, but I'll tell you what. The disciples is all shook up because the ship was rocking. But wait a minute. Oh, Jesus, he wasn't asleep. And they went down and woke him up and said, Don't you care that we perish? I want to tell you of a God tonight that really loves you so much. Oh, that he died on that cross just for you. They whipped him just for your healing. He's still alive. But did you know? Without signs and wonders, we won't believe. Let him move into your heart tonight. Say, Lord, Lord, I'm lost. I know somebody's saying it as we speak. I don't know. You can take a, hey, take a tour through hell. You get into the Bible and you read what hell is really about. A glory to God, you won't want to go. Amen. But now you, you can't preach hell real hot today because people don't want to hear about it. They don't want to hear about hell. They don't want to hear about sin. But I'm going to tell you what on him. God ain't going to look down upon sin because you're going to suffer for it. But one thing about it, he'll look down. If you look up, hey, I want to look up tonight because I got my grandson here. And you know, another one, little Austin back here playing them young people getting in. A glory to God. You know, somebody said the other day, Sister Margaret, said you're too old-fashioned. I said, honey, I want the power of God to use me tonight because there's people out there. This lady called me all the way from Virginia a while ago. She said, Preacher, my house is, uh, the devil's trying to take it, uh, trying to take uh, my son's home and my daughter's. Uh, there's three of us in the vehicle. I said, I just turned it on the speaker. I said, let's go to praying to a God that's alive. Uh, let's go to praying to God that's real. Uh, honey, we went to praying, hallelujah. You could almost, almost hear the devils crying out. Do you know what? Hey, I, I, if I gave believers with me tonight, I, I, I believe that God is still alive. Amen. I believe He's the same God yesterday, Amen. today, and forever. Amen. You know, I, <laughs> I'm a short life man, I know that. <laughs> Because the uh, Bible said in Job, uh, man born to woman is few days and full of trouble. Uh, yeah. uh, but one thing about it, uh, while I'm here, I'm going to tell you He's still alive. Amen. While I'm here, I'm going to tell you you must be born again. Amen. 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 I, I, can't, I can't water it down, but I can bring it with the love, Sister Margaret. Amen. The love of God is where it's at Amen. because he's a loving God. Amen. Somebody said, Preacher, this little elder did. said, I, would you sing a song for me if you don't care? I said, well, if I know it. And if I don't know it, I'll hum it. Amen. Oh, may sing great.
He wants us to say, uh, uh, you know, this person told me the other day, said, Preacher, uh, I went to the altar and laid it down, and that's where I'm going to leave it. Uh, I'm going to go back and add to it uh, and say, Lord, uh, uh, there's so many out there that's undone without you. Uh, I'm going to cry out one more time for my family, Lord, uh, uh, that I can see them coming in, uh, and I know you're doing it. Uh, it's nothing we do uh, just being obedient to you, but I feel good in you that, Lord, you can get it done. Uh, uh, the feeling, Lord, we don't go by 
about feelings, we go by faith, uh, but a faith uh, and virtue. Amen. Uh, Amen. I feel that love of God tonight uh, uh, to move. Come on, somebody help me. Woo! Well, my Seth, are you enjoying it? There you go. Put a smile on your face. Uh, because you know what, folks? Hey, Brother Don, there's too many sad people today. <laughs> the Bible said to rejoice. Hey, and again I say rejoice. He didn't say. I don't want somebody. I don't want somebody preaching or singing to me without the love. But if the love of God in you, it's going to come out. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Right. Somebody said, "You think we're bipolar? If you're saved, you are. You got a man inside you. Amen. And you got the flesh warring against the spirit. When you do good, evil is present with you. Yeah. But you know what? That's the reason he's that God uh, that wants to comfort us. He wants us to come together in one mind, one accord. We got a sister in the hospital, uh, uh, Brother Gary Abney. He's in Lexington in the hospital and many others. Uh, we're going we're gonna to call out on the mighty God tonight uh, because uh, you know, I'm talking about a God uh, that the lame walk, the dumb talk, and the blind see, uh, and the dead was raised. Uh, I'm uh, telling you about a God. Uh, woo, hallelujah. You know, somebody is, hey, folks. If we get too tired to praise him, we'll just, we'll just take a seat. Hallelujah. And praise him anyway. Because God is worthy to be praised. Amen. Amen. You know, I believe, I believe today, I know there's a great fall in the way. You don't have to tell me. I see people so busy going down the road. You make one mistake. And honey, I'll tell you what, <laughs> the action is on, guys. Yep. They'll bump you or anything. Well, they will. Look at all the shooting. The little baby's being killed. Ain't it time the church goes to praying? Ain't it time? To, come on now, folks out there, if you're listening tonight. I'm just a man that God has called and anointed to bring the Word of God. But I believe that we, hey, the gifts of God is real. He's the greatest gift. The greatest, great. Woo, hallelujah. I feel somebody wanting to pray. The greatest gift is the gift of having a home in heaven when this life's over. There's a little man in a nursing home oh, right now. I got a visit with him because he's heard every kind of doctrine in the world, Sister Margaret. I'm going to share something with you, folks. You're looking at a little man from Clay County that believes, that believes there's one God, one faith, and one baptism of all. There's one spirit. Oh, and it takes that spirit of God to lead God and direct you to Jesus because he's the door. Amen. Yeah. Can somebody, amen. Yeah. I can feel that, amen. Well, yeah. amen. Amen. Amen.
Amen. Praise the Lord. You know, I hear Sister Margaret teaching all the time on unforgiveness. You know what, folks? We need her heart clean. You know, I see. Uh, I'm not. I, don't don't listen to what people saying unless they're under the anointing of God or bringing you good news. I mean, you can turn her TV on any time you want to, and someone getting destroyed, their homes being burnt, their children being mistreated. But listen to me. Let me share with you some good news tonight. God so loved the world He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. God didn't come into this world to condemn this world, but through Him you can be saved. You know, Sister Margaret, uh, uh, they've done away with the old landmarks. The old landmarks is the church is coming in. You know, I'm not, I'm not judging nobody or nothing, but it's a potluck or it's a business meeting. I'll tell you what, we need to bring our business meeting to the Lord because we've got so many children out there that don't know He's still alive. They don't know that spirit is still like it was in that upper room yeah. coming in as a mighty rushing wind. Yeah. Tons of fire. Glory to God. There's some excitement Amen. in the blood of Jesus. Amen. We don't want to forget that blood. Do you know what, folks, today? Listen to me, there's going to come a time. As a brother was talking the other day, he's a veteran, and he said, you know, people are wanting to get killed in certain places because there's things are waiting on them. I'm going to share something with you. There's one God, one faith, and one baptism, you hear me? And there's only one way to heaven, and that's by the arms of Jesus. Amen. He's opening his arms up tonight, yes, and he's saying, Come unto me, all you that labor and heavy laden. I want to give you rest. My yoke is easy, my burdens is light. Oh, take them upon you and learn of me. Do you know what? I, I, you know, I'm saved, sanctified, filled with the Spirit of God. But did you know what? I'm still walking in the flesh. But one thing about it, honey, I know, I know by the Spirit that God has given me that i got a home in heaven when this life's over. Yeah. And you know, it's what we need to know. Somebody's calling in right now. Listen to me. you got people out there with cancer. We're going to anoint them. And after the singing, and we're going to pray over them. And we're going to call on a master with forgiveness and say, Lord, have mercy upon us. Oh, well, we've let you down. You know, the Word is so powerful and so strong. You know, the woman with the blood issue, you know what? She spent everything she had. Because she wanted to get well. A uh, man told me the other day, he said, I don't want your God. I, I said, well, why don't you want the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? He said, I don't know nothing about them. I, 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 I got a vision. I got a vision, but it's uh, building more barns. I said, well, I'm going to tell you something that's fine. Because he said to enjoy the fruits of your labor. You know, people don't want us to prosper, Sister Mary. They want, they want to look down. But listen to me. God said that we could enjoy the fruits of our labor. Amen. But did you know what? That woman with a blood issue, she spent everything she had. Oh, but she heard of Jesus. You don't want to tell you about Jesus tonight. There's so many people that's contacted me, Sister Margaret, that has got a healing. It may, they have, may have had to go through chemo, radiation, but the Spirit went through it with them. Oh, glory to God. David said, if, I, if I'm in the fire, I want him there. If I'm in the water, I want him there. If I'm sick, I want him there. Oh, glory to God. We want him tonight to be here because he's a live God. He's a mighty God. He's one that will be there. Do you know what, folks? Listen, people's going astray and they'll tell you everything in the world. But, honey, I want to come right down to the old fashioned way as it was in that upper room. Oh, hey, hey, 11 started, 120 was in the upper room, 3,000 when they come out of there was added unto the church. You know what, Sister Margaret? We really don't have a clue how many is receiving Christ from this hill up here at Batesville. But you know what? You know what? Thank God for it. Amen. Thank God for it. Thank God for your support. Amen. Thank God that He's a moving here. And, and you know what? The Spirit of God is alive. Amen. Hey, they told Peter, you're a drunk man. Yes, he was, honey. I said he was drunk on the Holy Ghost, uh, uh, Brother Larry. Uh, hallelujah. Amen. Hey, glory to God. This thing is real. We need to come back uh, uh, to the uh, uh, simple way of telling people if you're not born again, you can't make it to heaven. Right. Amen. Do you know what? There's so many sick out there. Do you know what? You can go into Matthew there, about chapter 5 and 6, 
everywhere Jesus was, they was healed. Hey, hey, you know, we get on so much, they call it medication from the doctors. Hey, uh, it's prescribed, and them, them staggering everywhere. It may be prescribed, but there's something wrong somewhere. Amen. Well, doctor, well, I ain't going to take no doctor's advice for nothing. I mean, they're here to help us. Luke was one. But, honey, I'm going to tell you something. I believe he can break your addiction. You know, I believe he can break your How many believes that? Amen. Are you out there to help me pray tonight? Because, folks, it's turning to a drug world. Larry, you know it's the truth. I was right over in Irving the other day preaching in a little complex, sir. But you know what? Folks, listen, it's, it's not only the young people, but it's the elders alike. But you know what? They ain't no greater high than getting Jesus into your heart. And having the fruit, the seven fruits of the Spirit, the love, the joy, the meekness, the kindness, the long-suffering, the temperance. Woo! Hallelujah! Somebody, hey, I'm going to be, they, they think something's wrong with me. Honey, I'm going to be happy. I got born again in 84. And every day I live, I get happier. Hallelujah! I can't help that your family won't let you praise the Lord, your husband or wife or whoever it is. Honey, you need to praise God. That's what he's got us here for. I, I'm not out of order. I'm just telling you, he comes first. Amen. 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 Well, I feel something moving. What is it, Lord? I feel something moving. What is it, Lord? I feel something moving. What is it, Lord? Well, I know it's that Holy Ghost. I feel the prayer.
Bless your family. Go ahead, sis. We're going to give them all time to get some water because the lights really dry you out. Gloryland Baptist Church. Uh, and uh, <laughs> okay, if you'd like to get in touch with their church, I'll let you can take a break for a few minutes. I'll give you a minute. Um, uh, <laughs> no, don't go get something to eat, but get uh, get, uh, get you some water. All right, you've been listening to Gloryland Baptist Church from Richmond, Kentucky. The phone number is 859-624-3023 with Pastor Cecil Burns. We have a lot of uh, uh, calls in here. Here's a lady is 92 years of age, Margie Moore, and she's originally from Jackson County, but now she's from Breathitt County. And so uh, her family needs prayer. Yes, a lot of a lot of prayer requests has come in tonight. And uh, uh, here's one from Lawrence County, uh, f from Howard, uh, for, uh, from Becky for Howard. Howard is going for a CT scan. He has an aneurysm on aneurysm on his aorta, and said, "Tell uh, Brother Cecil that her nanny loves loves him and is praying for Dottie." And we definitely want to encourage you to pray, to pray for Dottie. From Pulaski County, the Baker family, the doctors gave Joanne up a few weeks back, and uh, she is still with us and still needs prayer. And they've another, Gary's had a tumor removed. Three has already been removed from him, and he still needs prayer. Well, they're... Uh, I thought I was being nice and giving them a break, but they're not taking one, so we'll just let them work then. We'll just put them right back to uh, singing and playing for you, and we appreciate all of them, and I know it gets hot over there. I don't care what Cecil says. I know it gets hot. And it, uh, and, uh, but if they're, if they're 
uh, ready, why well, they'll uh, we'll go right back and let them uh, let them sing some more. And so glad to have uh, um, this young man here with us. Uh, he hasn't been here since he was just a baby. And uh, Seth. He's on track now, Sister Mark. And Amen. he's just uh, he was the cutest little baby, and now he just all grown up a nice young man and playing guitar so it's good to see him and uh, all right he you, said tough on that tough look oh our, <laughs> all right uh, they're coming back in and tried to uh, i tried to give them a break now so you all know that so uh, uh <laughs> All right, they just got a lot of songs they want to share with you, and then we're we're going to have plenty of time to pray and uh, over all, a lot of uh, cancer uh, requests has already come in for people with cancer. So let's go back to the Gloryland Baptist Church. I know it was the love. I know it was the love. I know it was the love that set me free.
got some friends out there that love this song right here. And listen to me. Because, you know what? There's music for everyone. There's a melody, Brother Don, for everybody. I like that exciting music because uh, <laughs> I guess it's it. Somebody said it. Well, it's the Indian that's in you. But honey, listen to me. God is alive, and He's holding His arms out to you. I can feel people out there calling in, you know, because they got, you know, so many homes. Uh, uh, listen to me. Uh, if you want to hear what the Bible said... Uh, has said, call for the elders and not with oil and pray. And the prayer of a righteous person availeth much. Amen. Amen. But, but wait a minute. We need to anoint our homes. We need to have a Bible. Because they got every kind of Bible in the world now. But I want to get one in there. That's in the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God. And the Word was God. Do you know he's not a monster tonight, folks? He, he went to prepare a place for you. Amen. And he said, I will come and receive you unto myself. For you, <laughs> glory to God, where he is, I'm going to be there. Amen. You know, I like to take, listen to me. I like, people do it. They, they got a traditional thing. I'm not in no tradition. Amen. Because, hey, hey, he went to prepare that place for me. And, and, and get you, if you got a vision, you got a vision. Try, do like Peter and have an oversight. Look over everything and see where your home is when this life's over. You know, the Bible said the thief come. <laughs> Oh, as a thief in the night. Amen. The devil will. He'll come as a thief in the night. Amen. But wait a minute. We're not in the night. We're, not, we're in the light. Amen. And you know what? Jesus Christ is the light. The devil's in the darkness. He's here now. He's here to devour your children. He's here. Hey, hey. He's a spiritual vampire. That's what he is. He cried, if you're feeling good, you're having a good day. Has anybody ever had a good day and feeling real good? And you walk into somebody gloom and doom and telling you all their problems right yeah. quick. And pretty soon, your head's are spinning. That's when you shoop, ha, sa, get a hold of Jesus. Uh, that name's higher than any other yeah. name. Uh, that name's got more power than any other name. Uh, yeah. How many of the brothers and sisters talking about that coming down? I said, you know, meetings are okay. All this stuff's okay. But if Jesus, his name is not in it, it's not going to profit a whole lot. Because, Amen. hey, there is no greater foundation than's already been laid. It's Jesus laid it when he died on that cross. He rose again. A little lady told me the other day, said, Preacher, I don't want to hear about the blood. I'm going to tell you what, the blood is in my veins. The blood saved me. The blood of that cross that Jesus said is finished. He said, weep no more. Uh, but I, I want to comfort you. Uh, listen to me today. The world is waxing worse and worse. But wait a minute. I'm not bringing you gloom and doom. Uh, I'm telling you the world, the path is narrow and straight and few there will enter. But hell's gates is enlarging as we speak. Folks, listen to me. If you're not born again, you feel that anointing of God, call upon His name because He'll be there. He'll be in the midst of you. Amen. How many believe she'll be in the midst? When I look around and see all the good things that He does for me, I know I'm unworthy of them all for His blessing. Oh, yes. He
that he said. I know what you can do. Somebody's talking to me the other day. Said, Preacher, I, I, I just saved. Uh, but I, I, got, I ain't got time for church. I, I've got three credit cards. My wife's got two. I just don't have time. Folks, listen to me. As many accidents that's happening out on the highways, as many things that's going on, the devil, the devil come to steal, kill, and destroy. Now listen to me. I'm telling you the Word of God. But Jesus said, I have come to give life and give it abundantly. Sister Margaret, most people, they want something from the church. Do you know what? I want to give something to the church. You know, I, I, I want to give to WLJC. I don't want to take from it. And you know, I don't, I don't need that. I don't need that old, uh, that old stuff. I, you know, it's like a magnet turned around backwards. You ever turn one around? Come on. It'll push itself. I want, I want to be magnified uh, by the Holy Ghost tonight. Uh, I want to see, uh, you know, these elders. Folks, there's elders out there. You may be listening that you heard everything in the world. But let me share something with you tonight. If you never see me again, it's okay. You'll see the Holy Ghost if you call on His name. The Bible said in Romans 10, 9, Believe, believe, believe with your heart. Profession is made with the mouth unto salvation and you shall be saved. Amen. Whosoever believeth on him 
shall not be ashamed, but will call upon his name. You don't have to be like Cecil Burns or anybody else. Be what God wants you to be. He gives many gifts to many people. Every gift is different. He gave me a gift to tell you. Glory to God, I'm enjoying myself right here. Why? I've got the joy of the Holy Ghost in me. Amen. 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 If you don't, hey, you know, people don't want this old sad stuff. Amen. They want something happy, Brother Don, don't they? Huh? They want something that's exciting. Amen. Why? When I was in the world 20 years, I wasn't supposed to be out there, but I was. I wanted something exciting in my life. I, that's the reason I was a bull rider, a bronc rider. <laughs> Glory to God. If I couldn't get excitement there, I'd go to ring and box a while. I needed something in my life, and you know what it was? It was God drawing me all the time. He, he delivered me even as I was lost because he knew I was going to be right here at WLJC tonight telling you how much he loves you how much he cares about you, that he will, he's able, he's just, and he's a God that wants to comfort you, and he wants you to start tonight. Tonight could be your uh, night to start saying, Lord, Lord, your word is real. We're begotten by it. Come into my heart. Save me, Lord. I, I want a home in hell. I don't believe there's a person out there, Sister Margaret, that'd want to go to hell where that rich man is crying. That's a parable, preacher. I'm telling you, hell, they've even, ain't there been evidence of it. The scientists even believe in it. <laughs> the astrologers and all them people that they drill down so deep and hear the cry of people in hell. Listen to me, folks, it's real. The rich man, <laughs> don't tell my brothers I don't want them here. Do you know, that's real to me. It may not be to you, but it is to me because Jesus is standing there. You know, this little lady the other day, Sister Margaret, she said, Preacher, she's crying over the phone. She said, Preacher... I'm afraid of judgment. <laughs> I, I, I laugh a little bit because you know what Job said to life? Do you know that? He said your famines and your trials and your tribulations. Job, you can read it. Job said laugh at them. But you know what? I wasn't laughing at her. But what she said, she was in judgment right then when she was in torment because she was afraid to meet Jesus. Listen to me. Let me tell you what he's going to say to you. Now listen, you're in judgment here while you're on this earth. He's going to say, either depart from me, you of iniquity, I never knew you, or welcome in. Wouldn't you love to hear that sound? Yes, huh? Wouldn't you love to hear that sound? Yes. Welcome in. You girls want to hear that sound? Amen. Fat bells of heaven, oh, how sweetly they ring. Carrying a message unto Jesus the King. When you are burdened down with trouble, bring on now, bring on.
share something with you before we do it again. You know, God, there's somebody out there tonight saying, I don't know if I can be saved or not. The Bible said, whosoever will. Yeah. Whosoever will. Yeah. You feel that drawing tonight? Come on, call yeah. in. Praise There's the people Lord. up there loving to hear you. Hey, they got joy in their hearts and they know what they're doing because God is in that upper room. Amen. And did you know something? Just like Seth, he got saved and baptized. He said, Papa, I want to play guitar. About two weeks you've been playing, ain't you? I'll tell you what, the Holy Ghost can Amen. teach you all things. Amen. This man-made stuff ain't too good, but that spirit-made stuff can get it done. Amen. Amen. How many believe that? Come on. Amen. I love to see these young people know what God can do Amen. if we ask. Amen. Amen. He said to ask, and you shall receive. Amen. And she said, girls, a short song, okay? Not a long one. Uh, praise God. Do we know any short ones? Huh? <laughs> God's good, ain't he? Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. I believe you'll be there for us. Amen. Amen. And the sweet. You got it. We shall meet on that beautiful shore. In the sweet. Thank you so much, Glory Land Baptist Church, and uh, their phone number at the church is 859-624-3023. If you'd like to contact them, we would, uh, I'm sure they would be glad to hear from you. We have a number of calls, and and want to tell Dottie that our Dottie from the phone room is in the hospital tonight with pneumonia, but Dottie, we had plenty of phone help. Uh, Larry and Sheila and some of them and then some from Cecil's Church and Lily and others and so there was a there was a ample supply of phone operators Dottie so uh, you didn't have to worry about that but we sure do miss Dottie and so we're going <coughs> we're going to be uh, continue to pray for her we're asking you because uh, uh, she just uh, thought she had allergies and it turned out to be pneumonia all right, uh, Norma from Lexington is celebrating her 76th uh, birthday and, uh, and wanted uh, a song. So I'll tell you all the songs they did tonight can be, can be for you. And uh, we, uh, we have a number of calls uh, here. We'll see how many we can get through. Glenda said she needs prayer for medical help. So grateful for the station watches every night. Curtis from Scott County enjoys Cecil and the group and, and all of us and uh, needs prayer for some family members from Morgan County for uh, wants prayer for children, grandchildren to, to be de delivered from depression. Charlie from, <coughs> <coughs> from Laurel County, feet and legs hurting and a lot of pain there. Bertha from Richmond for Bob. Uh, for God to move on the whole family, it's a lot of health issues. From Carter County, Anna has called for arthritis, uh, crushed disc in the back, and the whole family needs prayer. Floyd County, a uh, grandson needs prayer, is very depressed, and needs God to move in his life. Mrs. Moore is a diabetic and shut-in. A son from, um, well, I'll not say what county, but anyway, he has a court date tomorrow and they're wanting God uh, to help in this situation uh, involve some children. Monticella, name with health, soreness in chest 
and had uh, sinus problems and needs God to move. Perry County, uh, for a mom is called for uh, uh, a family member that has been in trouble with the law and needs salvation. Uh, for This is from Blackie, Kentucky, for a son and uh, also an aunt. Uh, Phyllis from Clay County had a really bad day in severe pain. And here is someone else from Madison County. I uh, lost family and wanted uh, Brother Darrell to sing Climbing That Ladder. Uh, Sister Sarah from Lincoln County lives uh, for family and friends that lives in Florida. And they've uh, only, a niece that lives in Florida only has got a few days to live. And uh, also friends that uh, uh, needs help. From Carter County, Patricia is diabetic on, has a diabetic on left foot. Pray for all of the family. Um, Marcy, uh, she loves us all. She just got out of the hospital and needs help. Uh, Betsy has COPD and needs prayer. Here's all the cancer. Oh, Lord, yes, Lord. Uh, from Wayne County, Wanda, uh, for Sylvia that's had a car accident, serious condition at UK Hospital, and thanks everyone for praying for her. A friend is called, uh, there's Butch that has a heart transplant. Jean just lost her husband. Barbara uh, lost a daughter. And Meryl uh, uh, seriously ill. Emma from Pike uh, for uh, several lung problems, smothering, son that's been in a car accident and is still in ICU at Pikeville Hospital. And from Boyle County, Randy for her son Mike that uh, uh, is needing uh, deliverance in his home from Berea for Lisa and her family, Estelle for uh, family, uh, and here's more with uh, uh, having scan on her lungs and so forth. And uh, okay, here's one more a praise report. Uh, Linda had called for a grandbaby two months ago, was having muscle spasm that was causing seizures, asked for prayer. The baby is fine has been taken off of medicine for, Praise two, the Lord. for two weeks now. Amen. From Whitley County for a lady had an MRI today, got ruptured disc in her back and and a tumor on her, her backbone and uh, said her bones are just pulling apart because of arthritis. All right, I better stop because we're uh, um, we're about to run out. Okay, Sister Mike, right here. Now, these are cancer. Uh, the old season saints out there that you talk about is going to pray, and I know they will. Here's Vincent uh, uh, that's battling cancer. Shirley called in for Michelle and many others that's battling cancer. Here's a lady from Laurel Cancer. Here's uh, uh, from Moorhead. Uh, uh, Maston's got cancer. Roy uh, from uh, Moorhead. Uh, everywhere, folks, keep calling in. There's people out there, and we will pray here. Here's Tim from Scott. Uh, Tim has lost uh, cancer's treatments, and Judy wants prayer that when they take the last uh, treatment, it's going to be well. Amen. Uh, and right here's Roger from uh, Madison. He's got, uh, we're praying that the family will be okay. Lorraine uh, from Madison. And right here's Ruby from Laurel. Here's Wanda. Needs prayer cancer. And here's Naoma that's called in for the family. Somebody in the family's got cancer. Here's Tammy from Knox. Somebody's got cancer. Perry, somebody in that family's got cancer. Betty from Lincoln County. Uh, there's cancer in that family. And Tim from Estill. And you know, folks, these are many counties. Uh, and, and you know what? I know of people that's been healed with cancer. They, they may have to go through treatments and chemo, but the Lord Almighty will be right there with them. Amen. And right here is uh, Irene uh, that's got cancer. Amen. Robin from Royal County. And right here is Joanna, cancer. Brenda, uh, somebody in the family's got cancer. Uh, uh, it goes right on. Phyllis from Madison. Uh, Donna from Letcher. And right here is uh, uh, Lacey from Letcher. If I don't, L A D I C S, Lettuce, I guess. Uh, uh, right here, you, you can understand I'm from. The mountains, so <laughs> glory to God. Hallelujah. We're going to pray anyway, and God knows. And right here's Joanna from Pike County. Amen. Greg yes. from uh, Madison. Joanna from Pulaski. And you know, all through there, that we're, going, we're going to lay them right there, and we're going to, we've got many others here. And folks, keep calling in. Right here's two. Uh, uh, right here's 
Bolivia from London has come back to the Lord. Uh, glory to God and give her life to the Lord. Praise the holy name of Jesus. Right here's Barbara from Irving has come to the Lord. And you know there's many more as we talk right now. There's many more is going to come. Uh, you know, let's keep praying for Dottie. And let's keep praying yes. for the ones out yes. there uh, that you know that's got... Okay, listen to me, folks. Uh, this is a serious thing. Right here on this hill in Lee County is it, it, a TV that goes out nationwide. And, and start calling them phones, ringing them phones. Uh, uh, because people, listen, they're listening out there. And, and just keep ringing them phones and support in this station because the church uh, hey maybe a weaken in some sister margaret but this station is not uh, you won't let it weaken the, the power of god is up on this mountain i can feel the presence of the norton tonight because he's still the god we're keeping that landmark uh, that old ancestors you know there's there's many old time preachers uh, that's prayed and uh, that's believed in believe in, that's what we believe in here uh, is one god one faith and one baptism we believe in a living spirit amen and we're going to anoint these tonight. Help me pray out there. As we pray, I know there's one more coming to the Lord because somebody else out there said, I want to be saved. I want my family in. Fathers, we come into your loving name. I feel the power and the glory. Oh Lord, there's somebody saying, forgive me, Lord. Come into my heart and save me. I feel your anointing going through that our way, Lord, and I know it's you. We've anointed with all. We've done the best we could, and you've done all. Lord, you can do it all. We're going to depend upon you. We're going to count on you, your word is real and your spirit is alive. Bless the churches, Lord. Bless the yes, yes. people that work in, in the firemen's and the doctors and the every one of them out there in the ambulances, Lord, have to travel tonight. Bless those people, God, that's hurting little children. Lord, you can stop it. We're going to ask you to lay your hand down upon Help us recognize you as Lord and Savior. Thank you for these people that come to the Lord. There are going to be many more, Lord. Thank you for the ones that you've already healed with cancer and Lord our expectations high because we believe and we trust in your word your word is so real thank you for this station Lord that we can still present your gospel we believe you died on that cross we believe you rose again and we believe you're alive here tonight in Jesus loving name we got children out there Lord and grandchildren oh sister Dot is in the hospital and many others we're going to ask you to lay your hand upon them and bless them in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. All right. We appreciate all of you that viewed tonight. All of you have <coughs> been praying. And uh, if you've ever prayed before, this is the time that we need to pray harder. Mom than, said, uh, yeah. You know, it's, it's good sometimes if you can't sleep at night, get up and pray. Amen. Because the, don't let that time waste and you just uh, roll and tumble. You can get up and talk to the Lord and accomplish so much. And then when you go to sleep, your sleep is m so much smoother. And you know, a lot of people are battling about finances and yeah. uh, troubles in the homes and kids acting up and so forth. We need prayer like never yes, before. Lord. And we just uh, have got to have the Lord. If we do. We've got to have Him. Need and, you, Lord. And, and then pray, be sure and pray for your pastor, your church that you are yes, affiliated Lord. with. Be a real supporter. Amen. Get in there and work uh, like, like you know the Lord is watching and He wants you to be a part and so he, he's going to, one day we're going to give an account of our yes, time, Lord. our talents, our money, and everything about us. We're going to give an account to God. And so we need to be uh, about the Father's business and really working at it. But I want to encourage you tonight, if you can't sleep, get up and really pray. And, Amen. And don't just say, don't just pray for two or three sentences and say, that's it. No, pray. Pray for all your family, Amen. all your community, all your church people in our world. We start it. You always start at home. You pray for those, and then you go around. And so there's so many that need your prayers. Maybe someone else is so distraught they can't pray tonight, but you can pray for them. Amen. So remember to pray for Dottie yes. because she would much rather be with us. And... Um, so we are going to believe that she's going to be out there in a short time. Amen. But, uh, so anyway, 
We have a lot uh, going on here. We had another bad lightning strike at the station, and that's going to, oh, that's a big headache. But we won't get into that right now. But we've been talking to the Lord about it. Yes, Lord. So you just keep, help us keep praying. And uh, our time has come and gone for tonight. So from all of us here, we want to say good night, and God bless, bless you. you. Thank you for being a part of the Hour of Harvest. We hope you get a blessing every time you watch. This program is available for download on your computer or mobile device at www.wljc.com. WLJC is now available on Roku and Google TV. DVD copies of this program are also available for your contribution of $15 or more. The WLJC programs, including the Hour of Harvest, are brought to you through your contributions of support. All contributions made to WLJC are eligible for income tax deduction. Thanks to all who support us. Without you, our programming would not be possible. If you would like to join our mailing list to receive our free monthly newsletter to keep you informed about what is happening at WLJC, along with our monthly musical guest schedule, call 606-464-3600 or write to WLJC, P.O. Box Y, Beattyville, Kentucky, 41311. Want to hear from us faster? Join our email mailing list. You can sign up at WLJC.com. It's easy and it's free. May God bless you. So